his whole sermon around the prophecy that he found in a fortune cookie. We've got a problem. Amen. Hallelujah. It don't, you don't have to search very hard in this book to find out God's stand against witchcraft, what He thinks about the occult, what He thinks about horoscopes, what He thinks about fortune telling, what He thinks about witches. It's all in there. Mm -hmm. It's all in there. He's got to open it up and read it for yourself. Amen. Or listen to somebody that's reading it to you. We have a problem and it is an attack in the mind. And the only form of defense is the Word of God. Put on the helmet. Take on the helmet of salvation. The sword of the Spirit. The Word of God. My goodness. Almost done. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth. Paul would talk to the Galatians in the third chapter in closing. Galatians in the third chapter, he would say this, and y'all heard me say these words before. Galatians the third chapter in the first verse. He says, O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? And listen to what he says next. That you should not obey the truth. Amen. That you should not obey the truth. See, there had been deceivers, false teachers, false preachers that had came in among the people of, of Galatia here. And had brought in damnable heresies. They had got in their mind, the minds of the people. They had convinced them and taught them something that was completely against what they had been taught and been brought to through salvation. And Paul says, you've been bewitched. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you're not obeying the truth of the Word of God. O foolish Galatians who hath bewitched you that you should not obey the truth. Talking about the Word. Who is it? I realized they had false teachers there that were doing this. Oh, but the same one was behind it then that's behind it today. Mm -hmm. I, you couldn't pay me to go to seminary. Because I think the dean of most seminaries is the devil. You take preachers full of the fire, the Holy Ghost, and the Word of God, and they'll set them down in seminaries, and they'll say, for one, the first thing you got to do is get rid of that King James Version. And get you one of these NIVs. Well, they done did a lot of damage right there just getting you to do that. But then they begin to tell you how you need to try and explain God and explain creation and how that the seven days might have been, you know, so many years instead of actual days and nights and everything. Getting our carnal mind to try. We got carnal men with using a carnal mind in carnal Bible colleges trying to teach spiritual men the things of God and it don't work. <laughs> Going on in our mind. And the enemy that's behind it is the same one that's always been behind it. How did he come against Eve in the garden he got in her head? He said, oh, but ain't God said this? How about this here? What about this over here? And he gets Eve to thinking. Amen. Oh, that's where some of us get in trouble when we go to thinking. Amen. So the same enemy's behind it today. And he knows where the battlefield's at. The battlefield is in your mind. There's only one defense to deceit, and that is the truth. That is the Word of God. There's only one way to dethrone the lies of the enemy, and that is the truth, the Word of God. The Word of the living God that is never changing, is always the same. My goodness, that's our defense today. The Word of God. Know it. Live it. Breathe it. Eat it. It'll cause your spiritual man to grow. It'll cause you to have more of the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. It is our defense today and our shield. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. He was the Word. Amen. As a man thinketh in his heart, in his mind, so is he. See, your heart don't think, your mind does. Amen. He's talking about your mind. Amen. Your mind ain't a garbage dump. Quit dumping your garbage there. Start filling it up with the Word of God. And see if you don't experience a difference in the way you think, in the way you talk, in the way you walk. Whenever you begin to get on the Word of God. Amen. That's why they tell you, get on these vitamins that make you feel better. Get on the Word of God. Amen. You'll begin to see a difference in your life. Hallelujah. Somebody else got something this morning before we go?